Sick Customs in Phoenix first opened its doors back in 2009, but founder Jack Reigelsberger's obsession with performance started before he was even old enough to drive. He used to hang out in an old hot rod shop as a kid, and after sweeping the floors, he was allowed to tinker on some of the cars. To him, it was his own personal tech school. Today, Reigelsberger's shop, Sick Customs, is a classic automotive shop that creates custom cars, boats, motorcycles, and off-road vehicles. The business focuses on combining the best of old school aesthetics with modern touches that improve performance and drivability. That philosophy was part of the deal when Reichelsberger decided to build the ultimate 80s Harley Street Cruiser. With this project, Jack says he wanted to build a bike that ticked every box for him, both aesthetically and mechanically. His custom 1989 Harley Davidson FXRT is your ride of the week. Reigelsberger selected a 1989 Harley-Davidson FXRT for the project and set to work making his vision a reality, equipping the bike with radial brakes, a handmade one-piece front fairing to replace the factory two-piece design, suspension upgrades, and of course, a wild paint job. Performance was always a must, so the bike was fitted with an 113 cubic inch V-twin with an oilless competition turbo. Outfitted with forged internals and running eight pounds of boost, the V-Twin dishes out an incredible 180 horsepower, which is more than enough to get the 600-pound Harley moving in a hurry. Still, Reichelsperger felt like the bike needed something more to help separate it from the pack. Looking for the next wow factor, Reichelsperger had the idea to do something that nobody's ever seen, flipping a sniper EFI system on its side and seeing if he could make it work. Reichelsperger selected a Holley Super Sniper EFI 2300 for the job as it offered the boost reference map sensors he needed and its four 100 pound per hour injectors would be able to keep up with the boosted V-Twin's fueling demands. With the turbo system, he wanted something that could be changed on the fly. Being that the sniper system is very tuner friendly, it allows riders to make changes while driving for various situations. Even still, there was a fair amount of custom work that needed to be done in order to get everything to work in harmony, such as an aluminum flange for the throttle body that was adapted to a factory Harley intake. There were a couple of places where the sniper wouldn't want to make changes, so the team went into the Holley EFI software, made some modifications, and then applied those changes to the system. The EFI wasn't really designed for a two-cylinder engine, so the tweaks that were needed involved getting it to work in an unusual application and keeping it from overfueling. With those custom parameters dialed in, Reichelsperger says the Sniper EFI retrofit has significantly improved the riding experience. While the project is still in the final stages of development, Sick Customs is already looking into where Sniper EFI can provide big benefits in other applications. Guys, that does it for this episode of Ride of the Week, and remember, if you have a motorcycle, ATV, UTV, snowmobile, or jet ski you'd like to feature, email our content director Greg Jones at gjones at babcox.com. Also make sure to follow us across social media at Motorcycle Power Sports News, and tune in next time for some more great content. Thanks for watching.